what's normal, what's not, and when should you worry? Because a lot of people know, oh, my child has a fever, mm -hmm. but they don't know what to do <laughs> when they have a low body temperature. So let's That's, talk about right, this. Right, let's talk about body temperatures. So I get a lot of questions about body temperature in my practice, the pediatrics, uh, for the parents and the kids too. But most people know that 98.6 is kind of a normal average body temperature, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody kind of knows that. But I get a lot of calls from parents saying, my, my baby has a fever of, a, of, one, of 99, you know, and, and that's, it's technically not a fever until it's 100.4. That's for kids and adults too, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and so, but then when do we really, really worry about it as it goes higher and higher and higher? If it gets to that 105, 106 range, that's when we kind of really worry about what the fever might be doing to you. The fever actually becomes dangerous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. fever itself is not dangerous mm -hmm. unless it hits that critical high number. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, there's lots of different uh, tools. You know, this is the, uh, the ear thermometer. Nice and quick, comfortable. Kids like that. Mm -hmm. Right. Not quite as accurate right. as your good, as a good rectal thermometer. thermometer. This is, for anybody, the most accurate way. You know, the other most accurate thermometer? The mommy, mommy thermometer. The mama kiss on the, the forehead. Mama, oh, yeah, yeah, you do that. Mm -hmm. And you can yep. tell just how yep. warm a baby is. That's oh, the yeah. You that's do the enough of accurate. it, you, you can get a sense. I mean, not exactly, but you can tell oh, when yeah. they're warm. Mm -hmm. and. Yeah. Mama kiss is more accurate when the child doesn't have a fever. You can right. be pretty accurate you know. saying, okay, you don't have a fever. But if he feels warm with a kiss, you really need to double check do it. Do I have? Do I, I know, have? Yeah, I got, I I got to you all messed clean up. Clean me off here? I, but, got a little I, can see, I can see Travis in the ER. I'm going to take your temperature. Come here. <laughs> 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 but how about I'm going to be flooded? Travis, that, w that will make TMZ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you can oftentimes tell, oh, you know what, I'm, I'm a little bit hot, a little feverish. But low body temperatures can be equally important. This is particularly true at extremes of age. Young children or older adults, low body temperatures can signify some metabolic disorders, really low blood sugar, or as I fear a lot of times in the emergency department, if you come in with a temperature below 96 degrees, we have concerns for something called sepsis, which is a severe overwhelming infection of your bloodstream, can be deadly. So if you have a low body temperature, that is significant, and that is something that you should discuss as well with your doctor. And I'm not talking about these little variations that we go through as our hormones change. I'm talking about legitimate high or low body temperatures mm -hmm. Both can be a sign of trouble. Right, and you may dip right before you ovulate, too. Um, so women's temperatures actually change th throughout their cycle, but mostly around the time of ovulation, and this is due to a hormone called progesterone.